Oh, Jesus. New video from Kanye West's Texas concert shows the rapper booting a female fan for asking him to take off his mask. During the profanity-laced rant, West chastises the concert goer for telling him how to perform. Justin Bieber also had an ugly run-in with a female fan. According to reports out of Australia, the pop star called a young girl in a bikini a beached whale. This went down poolside at a Perth hotel among other guests who claimed to have heard the nasty exchange. After jetting out of the land down under, the singer wrapped his controversy-ridden Believe tour in the Philippines, where he got a first-hand look at the devastating effects of the typhoon that hit last month. The 19-year-old played an intimate show for survivors and later gave out toys and books to kids. After playing Santa, Biebs took on some locals in a friendly game of basketball. The Canadian has also launched a campaign to raise money for typhoon relief efforts with more than 660,000 bucks raised so far. Alicia Cuthbert and Dion Phaneuf cozied up on the red carpet at a Toronto Target yesterday before surprising unsuspecting shoppers. The newlyweds told us what they love the most about the holidays. We love putting up the tree together and we make sure to do it when uh, he's got a day off. If I get to, to put the tree up and she decorates it. <laughs> I'll I let you put them up. I put, a, I put a few up, but I have to put the star on the top and do the, the stuff way the up there. The height is, yeah. it works for him. In theaters, Friday is the highly anticipated Hobbit flick, The Desolation of Smaug. We sat down with two of the film stars in a Canadian morning show exclusive. Another brilliant performance. Sir Ian McKellen says, you never did the same take twice, which is unbelievable. Why do you do that to yourself as Bilbo? Well, because uh, I have a low boredom threshold and I don't want to bore myself and I don't want to bore everyone else that I'm working with. I never ever want to be in the car on the way home thinking, why didn't I try that? You know, this stuff isn't life and death. No one's gonna die if you do a bad take. You know, you just get to go again. Into the barrels, quickly. Are you mad? They'll find us. No, no, they won't. I promise you, please, please, you must trust me. Did you fear the water logging with the barrel scene? Yeah, I gotta yeah, say, it was a barrel yeah. of laughs. We enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it. You know, that was the sobering part of filming. I'd said a little prayer every day before that. Yeah, I mean, just because it's very easy to, you know, get dragged underwater into a rock. That sequence took many, many different forms. We were on a real river. We were in a machine which was like a washing machine powered by V8 engines. We were in little wheelie barrels where you pedal with your feet. I was very mindful of the fact that I needed to be careful and not be too gung-ho and, hey, this is great. What, meanwhile, you're drowning. I, I, that yeah, would I, suck. You want to kind yeah. of, you want to stay alive. If this is to end in fire, then we will all burn together. When you watch it back, can you appreciate it for all that it is as we do? It's always a great surprise to see, you know, the work that's been done and uh, it's, it's a, a big adventure seeing the movie as it is for you. Entertainment City, brought to you by Walking with Dinosaurs, the 3D movie, in theatres December 20th.